So in a looping construct, we have to take a decision on a similar condition again and again. Now in my previous in my previous example of if construct, we took input from the terminal, we applied the logic, we counted the comparison, took the decision, and we got the output. That was once. Now in case I have a file with list of numbers. Are all the numbers so 45 50 100 48 70 90 so if i have to enter these numbers every time i am doing going through a lot of manual work to identify who is passed who is failed to ease this i can do the decision making i did in past in a loop. So we have two types of loop in our scripting. That we have three types of constructs. So for so these are pure loops and the third construct is called case. Okay. So for is for do done while Done and case and ESAC. He said. So you can see ESAC. Similarly, when we start with F, it ends with 5. You see this? I run wrong. If 5. So if constructs end with 5, a case constructs end with ESAC. But for and while end with done. Okay, so they are different a little bit. So let's see an example of simple for loop where I'm going to run a table of five. Okay, so let me open up my script. Now vi my let's say multiply dot bash. So I want to okay. This script takes a number and prints its multiplication table using for loop, using a loop. So comment, that's number one. Okay. Also, uh, to make a header, it's a good practice to start a bash script with uh, this symbol. Uh, the next item let, let me go with so this script will first ask the user sorry go please enter a number okay then read the number then I'll be printing it up to 10. So I'll show example of for loop. So for i in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very simple format of for. Do I'll use expr. expr text right dollar i cross dollar num this is what it is used here and done to end the loop it is done so for i i is uh, a variable and now this variable will automatically get updated in the for loop and if you run through this all the available numbers that I have put here go in the loop and then it will start working on the command so let's do something here ch mode 
plus x multiply dot dash dot slash multiply. So please enter a number, let's say 5. So you are a table of 5, 6. Let's do it in sh hyphen x where we get to know how it is working. So it's asking for a number. Give the number say 5 and in the iteration the value of i was first 1. So when I say i in 1, 2, 3. So value of i was first 1. It executed the loop with expr 1 into 5. Done. It came out and then again executed for loop because now value of i is 2, then 3, then 4. So incrementally it just kept on moving on each of these values in the loop 1, 2, 3, 5 and, enter, and it was using that value to multiply with the number we have passed. So this is how we can run a for loop. To do the same thing in a while loop, we have to apply a little bit of more logic. So let's say, uh, let me open the file again and now do a while loop as well. Now for while, we have to first define the value of variable. Here in for loop, for the variable i which will be used for iterations, there is no value defined. But for while, I have to first define the value. So i equal to 1 should be the first one and then I can say while. I would say i is uh, less than, sorry, minus less than equal to 10. So until i is equal to or less than 10, it will keep doing what? It will keep doing, okay, multiply i with the number n and also, I have to manually add the value of i. expr. I'm sorry. i equal to in back quotes expr dollar i current value plus 1. This will keep updating the value of i. So, difference in for loop and while loop is I have to manually update the iteration variable. Whereas in while loop, I'm sorry, in while loop, I have to manually update the iteration variable. In for loop, it is done automatically. Okay. So let's just run this. Okay. So file something. Oh, it should be dollar i. While dollar i value of okay, so we can see how it ran. So it checked is six less than ten, then executed six. Seven less than ten, it executed. Eight less than ten, it executed. Nine, ten, and then it ran. And when i became eleven, it says is i less than ten? It says no. So finally came out of the loop. So these are the two different ways of writing looping constructs. So uh, I hope this is useful and I will close the session here.